In this video, we're going to look at one using the models that are hosted on Hugging Face, both for the Hugging Face Hub, which is quite common. We've done that a number of times in other videos, but two also for how you could do this locally, how you can load these, these models locally and use them in Langchain. So you'll see that I'm installing Langchain. I'm installing the Hugging Face Hub. Because I'm actually gonna load the models locally, I need to have the Transformers library and the Sentence Transformers for embeddings later on. So there are two ways to basically use the models. The first way is the most common way that you'll see people talk about, and that's basically just using the Hugging Face Hub. So that's just pinging an API. You need your Hugging Face API token in there. All right. The second way, that works great for a lot of models. For some of the models, you'll see that actually it's even more optimal to ping the API if you can, rather than host it yourself, because your hosting probably is going to be, unless you've got a very fast GPU, might be slow, etc. But it also raises some issues because the Hugging Face Hub version doesn't support all the models, and it doesn't support, there are certain models that, you know, it's supposed to support text-to-text -to -text generation models and text generation models. So these are the text-to-text -text ones are basically the encoder decoder models, things like BART, things like T5, and your text generation are your decoder only models. So these are more like the GPT models, GPT-2, etc. The thing you'll see is that for using, there are times that you're going to find that the Hugging Face Hub actually doesn't work for some of the models, whereas the loading it locally does. That's what I want to show you here. So, okay, first off, let's just go through the standard way of doing it with the Hugging Face Hub. So here you can see we're basically just setting up a large language model chain. We've created a simple prompt. This has got like a chain of prompting here. We're going to pass in a question and we're going to say answer. Let's think about it step by step. And you can see here, then I basically instantiate this with the Hugging Face Hub and the repo that I'm passing in. So this is the model that I'm using is the Flan T5 XL in this case. I can set my temperature, etc. there. Then I could basically just ping that model I, just by running the chain. So sure enough, I ask it, what is capital of France? Paris is the capital of France. Final answer is Paris. So that shows us that not only is it getting it right, but it's doing the chain of thought going on there. Another example of this is just asking it a little bit more in depth question. What area is best for growing wine in France? Best area for growing wine in France is the Loire Valley. And you can see that it basically talks about that that's in the south of France, the area of France, then it gives us a final answer, which is just off screen there, which is the Loire Valley. I, so that's great if we want to use a flan model or something like that. What if we wanted to use like the blender model? So the blender bot models were created by Facebook as chat models, like chat bot models. So they're specifically trained on chat data sets, and they have a number of them of different sizes and stuff like that. Here, the one I'm using is trying to access is the Blender 1 billion distilled. So this is distilled, I think, from either 2.7 billion or the 9 billion model. It's distilled from quite a big model down. But you see, I set it up exactly the same and boom, it doesn't work. So it's basically telling me that, oh, okay, they only support text-to-text -text generation or text generation. Now, this model is what they call one of the Conv AI models, conversational AI models. So you'll see that, okay, this is not ideal, right? We're trying to use this with the Hugging Face Hub. We can't use this. So let's look at using the local models and we'll try in a bit with this one for the local model and see how it goes. So what are the sort of advantages to using a local model? One of the big ones is that you can then fine tune models and use your models locally without having to put them up on Hugging Face. You can just basically load your model in off your hard drive, that kind of thing. You can go for GPU hosted models. So a lot of the models that are on the Hugging Face Hub, unless you're paying Hugging Face, you don't get a GPU version of that model. And if you do, you maybe want to change the GPU, that kind of thing. So that's one of the advantages. And then, like I said before, some of the models only work locally. So we'll sort of look at this as we go through it. So let's go back to that fl a flan model. Now I'm going to go for a smaller one here just because I'm loading up a few different models in here and I don't want to overload the GPU. But we'll look at, okay, how are we going to do this? So we're going to bring in the Hugging Face pipeline. So pipeline is a part of Hugging Face where you can basically simplify the tokenization, simplify everything by putting it in a pipeline and you can set up some parameters in that pipeline. And then based on what pipeline that is, that will then generate the response out. So here you can see, okay, we're bringing in the Flan T5 uh, large. I'm setting up the tokenizer. So, okay, I've got an auto tokenizer here. 
And Flan T5 is an encoder decoder model, right? So we've got both sides of the transformer here. So to use this, we need an auto model from seek to seek language model. So that's basically just saying an encoder decoder model here. You can load it in 8-bit, but you don't have to. You could just load it in normal, depending on which model you pick and stuff like that. If you've got enough GPU RAM, you can just go for it like that. Once you've got it loaded, you then need to set up the pipeline. So the pipeline, you need to tell it what kind of pipeline it is. So Hugging Face has a whole bunch of different pipelines for things like classification, for named entity recognition, for, I think for summarization, things like that as well. And currently, none, as far as I know, none of those are supported in Lang. We pass in the model, we pass in the tokenizer, and then we're going to basically just set a max length. And then to bring this into running it just like a language model, that, like we would when we're doing OpenAI or the Hugging Face Hub, we basically just tell it, okay, the local language model is going to be the Hugging Face pipeline. And then we pass in this pipeline that we've generated here. So once we've done that, we can then ping the, the local model, just like we would any large language model. So I can ask it here, what is the capital of France? And you can see that there's no, we've got no prompt here. This is just direct conditional generation from the model. So it comes out Paris. We ask it, now we can set it up with a large language model chain, passing in the prompt that we created earlier on, passing in the local language model that we just set up. And then I ask it, what is the capital of England? The capital of England is London. London is the capital of England, so that the answer is London. That shows you just doing the same kind of thing, right? It locally as you've done in Argon Face Hub. You can also do this with decoder models. So decoder models, you need to set them up a little bit differently. So you can use the auto tokenizer. So here I'm just going for one of the GPT-2 models. I'm setting up the auto tokenizer. And then we've got an auto model for causal language modeling. So this is basically just going to load up our model. You can see that because it's a decoder only model, we have text generation, not text to text generation. So up here we had text to text generation, right? So you need to look up on the model that you're doing and see, okay, what kind of generation does this do for setting the pipeline? I then basically set the model, I set the tokenizer just like before, and then I can basically query it. And you can see this model is, is the medium GPT-2, which I think is about 700 million parameters from memory. You can see we, we set it up, we ask it the question, just like normal. It's not a great model, right? It's a very old model now. It's got that we're talking about France, but it hasn't really answered our question and it's just generating text out there. So let's go back to the BlenderBot model. So the BlenderBot model we saw up here wasn't working. And now we want to see if we can get this working. So here we've got the, we're going to bring in the BlenderBot is an encoder decoder model. So we're going to bring it in. We're going to use the auto tokenizer, like all of them. We're going to use the auto model for sequence to sequence modeling. And then we're going to basically bring in that it's a pipeline. And we're going to say that it's a text to text generation pipeline. So even though this is what they call a, a conv uh, AI model, we can use this text to text generation here. So I'm not sure why it doesn't work on the Hugging Face Hub, but it certainly works locally. So we've done the same things as before. We've brought it in and we can see that now th this model is definitely not as big as the, some of the models that we were using before. And it's not fine tuned with any instructions or anything like that. It's just fine tuned with chat. We can ask it the same question and we can see that it, it gives us a very coherent conversational response. It doesn't seem to know the answer. What are the areas, what area is best for growing wine in France? I'm not sure, but I do know that France is one of the largest producers of wine in the world. So this is definitely a answer that we would say, okay, yeah, we could understand it, perhaps a human or something saying something like this. So th this sort of just shows you setting these up. The other ones too, is if you want to do the embedding model, you can actually do those locally too. So here you're going to be making use of the sentence transformer package and models. And you can see here that we're bringing in this model here, which is basically going to turn our text into a 768 vector. We set it up with hugging face embeddings and just pass the model in, it will download it. And then we can basically just do an embedding of a string with HF embed query. Or if we want to actually embed a whole document of strings, we can basically do HF embed documents. So this is a way that you can make, if you manually, you could make the embeddings for things. If you wanted to upload them to something like Pinecone or Weaviate for using for a semantic search task or something like that.
So just, I just wanted to make this quickly so that you can see that you can actually use the Hugging Face models locally for some of the models like things like BlenderBot. It's the only way currently that you can use them and it definitely gets good results. You can play around with it. You can try these things locally. You can then get a sense of like, okay, what sort of GPU would I want if I wanted to put this into production, etc. All right. If you've got any questions or anything, please put them in the comments. If, if you find this useful, please subscribe and I'll be doing more videos like this in the future. Talk to you soon. Bye.